The Conservation Training Partnership um, programs, which are funded through the National Science Foundation, are two-day workshops where we bring teenagers and adults together. They come in as partners, they identify an environmental issue that they want to work on. First, the team participates in a two-day workshop where they learn conservation tools and web technology. We cover topics ranging from geographic information systems and global positioning systems. We then take the teams out into the field and we equip them with a smartphone or a tablet and we teach them how to collect data. Anything that can be understood better by tagging it with a location. We use EpiCollect, which is another thing they taught us about. We've used it to assess the environment and we've used it to catalog birds. We then bring them back into the classroom and we teach them how to take that data that they collected on their device and display it on a web map that can become interactive and an integral part of their community project. Next, the team returns to their community to carry out a local conservation project of their choosing using the tools that they gained at the workshop. These service learning projects address a local environmental issue and have real community benefits. What I will be doing is uh, taking marble wood and plant land trust land and I will be documenting how many species of birds there are. I will also be raising awareness to um, the general public and especially the kids in Kent. We're building a, a number of benches, um, six total, um, that will be placed in each of the large Harper parks. And on each one of these benches, there will be a QR code or a website where people can visit and learn more about the process of building the bench. And they can also learn about how they can help join local conservation or environmental stewardship efforts. I'm looking really forward to the event in March when we get to showcase the project. I'm really excited about that. And hopefully through this project, we can connect with other resources that we kind of have available to, to help strengthen other aspects of our program. These workshops are held throughout the state, so visit our website to find one near you.